And we're back, episode two of Phantom Forces Talkie Talk Shoot Time. That's not going to be the actual title, hopefully. I'll think of some word that sounds enough like vacant to pass. And here we go. You ever read the book Metro 2077 or whatever, uh, sorry, 2035, 2033? I forget what the number is, but it's Metro. That man should be dead. I've read that book. It's got tons of hard-to-remember Russian names. Oodles, in fact. The only name you can remember is Artyom. And his home station. It starts with a V, I think. I don't know, it's been a while since I've read the book, but his home station is unique enough that you can remember it. The V plays. Yep. Oh, what? How is that guy not dead? Alright, you know what? We are changing this. We are taking this thing off. Barrel. We're gonna make it... Well, we can't... Can we boost the damage in any way? I guess not. Hang on, let's see if there's ammo we can use. Reduces range and suppression. That doesn't change the damage. Can you unban me from the server? Dude, how come... What is it with people contacting me all over the place and telling me to unban them? What did you do? Wow. That did not go well. We might, you know what, we might just change weapons for this round, that's what I'm thinking. Even though this seems like the perfect map for the Honey Badger, like, it's honestly starting to get on my nerves a bit with this thing. Oh, he's dead. You know, it has a chance to redeem himself. Alright, chance has been lost. We're changing weapons. We are swapping to... You know what? Let's break out the... Oh yeah, the cream cob. I talked about that last episode. Where is it at? There she is. Cream cob. Do I have any weapon skins for it? Nope. Okay. No matter. Oh yeah. Hopefully this does more damage than the honey badger did. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad guys over here. Of course I run out of ammo just as he rounds the corner. Got him. Reloaded just in time for that one. Uh oh. Got him. Whoop. Run down here before anyone else pops out. See if we can get some health back right quick. Got him. Long shot. Maybe for this gun. Okay, I heard someone. I heard someone spitting some suppressed bullets. I guess that's a teammate because he's still shooting. Now, someone shows up on the radar over here. No longer. Problem has been solved. Oh, wait. Problem has been double solved with the double kill. Yoink. How do I say that? I'm getting self conscious talking to myself here. I'm talking to an invisible audience. Okay, I heard that. That sounded way closer than the downstairs would have been. Hey, friend. Hi, friend. Where are you going, sir? Jeez, that was a horrible chase. And I'm out of bullets, just about. Out of gas. Let's hopefully find an AK. Someone that shoots 7.62. Oh wait, I just picked some up from an MP7? Wait a minute, what is this thing? I thought that this gun was chambered in like, was it 545? Hold on, let me check this real quick. This, I know the MP7 is 9mm. It says, yeah, 545 by 39. Well, that's odd. Rather odd that a... Or is the MP7 9mm? No, the MP7 is a PDW, right? 
So it probably shoots something closer to like the uh, 5.7, but not 5.7, because that's FN's deal. Hmm. Okay. You know what? We're, we got a good we got a good streak going here. It's a, as long as we keep this trend going, this should be a good round. Dang. Oh, it's the guy with the gold AK. Well, it's a different guy than last time. Which is weird, because this is recorded right after last time. There just happens to be another dude with a gold AK. Yeah, it was a bad place to spawn. I was trying to get out of there, but... Too late. Alright. Come up from the side. You gotta run on the edge of the escalator rails so that they don't hear you. Now that one I would consider a long shot. Come on, penetration. Do your thing. You, an SFG in Metro? Also, I started watching one of my old Phantom Forces videos. In that video, I claimed that this was my least favorite map, which I don't understand now, because, like, this is a pretty good map. I love this map. It's nice and simple, okay? There's no, you know, weird topography. Everything makes sense, and it's mostly symmetrical. You know, it's easy to memorize this map. And easy to navigate, easy to navigate if you don't know, if you haven't played it. And it's smaller, I guess. And smaller means more action. And more action means more fun. Better. Plus, there's like a... No, I wouldn't say it's a place for all sorts of guns. But it, it, it's definitely leans more towards short-range weapons. So carbines, you know, shotguns, that kind of deal. Than, say, snipers. Not that there's no place for snipers, it's just a very small opportunity. Like, in case anyone's just running down the main hallway, then you can use a sniper. But you could also get flanked pretty easy. And that's another thing about this map, it's very forgiving. Like, if one team is doing really good, some other guys on their team can just go around the side, underneath. Get right up behind their spawn. Yeah, I heard you. Coming out of there. Stepping on that escalator. Okay. Come on over. Was that not a double kill? I guess not. Also, I did not expect those guys to still be waiting for me. I figured they'd think I'd go another way. No! Do not want to get caught in one of those escalators. That is a death tunnel. Oh, hi! That's the dude who shot me. I was looking for him. Is this my spawn or their spawn? There's three of them down there. Suppress the enemy. Kill the enemy. You know what? I'm starting to think that this weapon does around the same and maybe a little less damage than the Honey Badger did. It's still a change of scenery. And therefore, welcome. What did I just unlock, by the way? I didn't see that. Also, yeah, that's definitely the enemy's side. <laughs> I never saw what Alan said he got banned from the server for. Spawn camping, nerds. Oh wait, this match is close. Man, I was being a lot casual. A lot of casualness about this, but it appears that my competitive instinct has now kicked in. So now, it's time to take names! Time to take names. If I see any names to take, there's no bad guys around here. And this is their spawn side, right? So if I go over here, we should see... Get a glimpse, catch a couple. Get a look-see. Going out. 
Oh, I thought I heard someone on this escalator. Come on. These kill trades. So wait, let me check real quick how much damage this does. 37 to 18. So it's got a higher initial, like close range damage, max damage, but a lower minimum damage. No, come on, step step back out. Or you. It's stuck in a hallway. Anyone else want to take the hallway? Yeah, I didn't think so. Honestly, if you just like hold the trigger down and point at some area where someone's probably gonna walk out again, they're most likely gonna walk out again. Oh, that was a headshot. That man should be dead. No, I'm not going back into the window. Okay, maybe. Maybe. He's dead anyway. Don't know where he went, though. How's the game going? Oh yeah, we've taken the lead. Let's find some bad guys. Find some baddies. I swear that man should have died. There's another 99. This is just the naughty badger all over again. Except not suppressed. And more communist. That felt good. Most non-neat people in the world don't realize that human nature isn't scalar, but vertical. Ver v vectorial. 44 kills, 19 deaths. That goes a long way to repairing our... <laughs> our shattered and tarnished KDR. Let's vote for... Man, what's with these... Okay, I do not care for these re revamp maps. They're always bad. The mall one is okay, I guess. But, like... The Mirage one's bad, the other ones are bad, the Crane one is bad, I mean the, uh, freaking, whatever the one that's got that parking garage is bad. Actually a couple have parking garage now I think about it. Whatever. Do we get- okay, this is a close range map for the most part. You know what, I can't really say that any Phantom Forces maps are, you know, overly reliant on one sort of range. Like, they definitely tend to lean more heavily towards one or the other, but like, they've all got little spots. Little lanes. That was the wrong weapon. They've all got little areas where one could shine. Oh, didn't see that guy. Alright, it's flanking time. This man upstairs, he's gotta go. And I know just the guy to take care of him. That guy is... Well, I was gonna say that guy is me, but... <laughs> Here, let's see, wait. Who is that man? This guy. I gotta spawn this guy. No! It's too late. I knew they were coming for him. He should've known they were coming for him with their loud footsteps sprinting everywhere and whatnot. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm this close to just pulling out the AA-12. I'm not not gonna lie. I'm this close to just hosing down that entire hill with my AA-12. But I also know that I won't be able to live with myself afterwards. Come on, Grenade, do your thing. Whatever, it ended up in his death anyway. We gotta stop taking the middle lane. Yeah, you know what? We're going around this side. We're gonna go for the flank and stank. This round is going fast. I hear someone running over there. Yeah, there's a bad guy over there. We have time to deal with him now. We are pulling off the maneuver. It's gonna save our team. Shotgun. That was close. Come on. Is that the same guy? I swear that's the only dude who's killed me. This over and over. What happened? Hello? Where's my where's my GUI? Hello? Hello? What does that even mean? 
Alright, so uh, Phantom Force has stopped working, I guess. Maybe they're under maintenance or something along those lines. So we're playing Warships. Now, I've not played this game in a long while. Uh, I guess I'm spawned in as a torpedo cruiser or something like that to show uh, which is pretty good if you know where the enemy is, which they're over there, if their name tags or anything to go by. What you do is just kind of just kind of serpentine like so, and you fill the entire area, the entire sea, with a pattern of torpedoes. That way, you're bound to get some hits on something. Looks like there's only one of them. Oh, there's a... See that sub? I'm gonna have to deal with that guy. Do we have depth charges? Hang on, what's the controls button? Where's the help button? I don't know, but that's a submarine. I don't like that. Okay. Time to start working on this battleship. Not good so far. Not good so far. Let's activate our smoke screen. Hit him with a couple more torpedoes. No, that submarine probably is blocked on my torpedoes. Okay, this submarine's gonna be a problem. Oh, and they've got a plane, one of those Robux planes that can drop bombs and stuff. Whatever, have some more torpedoes, dude. Oh yeah. Full broadside lander. This plane needs to go. This needs to leave. Okay. Whatever, this plane's probably gonna sink me because he just has, I guess, unlimited bombs. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get as much damage as I can on this battleship before it takes me out. Oh, there's the sub again. Everyone's favorite. Come on, come on, torpedoes. Take him out, finish him. No, he's still up. All right, my teammate got that guy. Oh, there's an aircraft carrier right here, okay. You know what? We can take an aircraft carrier. I just annihilated half of that squadron. That wing. That flight. Okay, we need to get out of the range of that thing. And we need to get into torpedo range. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. So he wants to play with carriers now, does he? We have just the solution for that. That's the solution. I would say the uh, submarine, but that's kind of cheap. So I'm going to bring out my own carrier, the Argo, to battle. This thing's got the planes and the guns. The whole nine yards. We're going to send out bunches of torpedo bombers, because they are the best. And then once we get a bit closer, maybe we'll get some uh, fighters so we can take out their aircraft squadrons. Let's check back and adjust course. Just so I'm heading in the right direction. Okay, here we go. First target, dead ahead. Gotta take a low approach. Wait, are we blue? Is that an enemy blimp? Okay. I'll have to deal with him later. Man, this guy is flying. Torpedoes away. Got some hits. Alright, those enemy planes definitely saw us. Okay, they're definitely fighters. Yep. Okay, we got scramble our own fighters now. It's been a while since I've done this. Alright, fighters are in the air. I'm gonna stop my aircraft carrier so that the air doesn't fly into danger. Uh, sorry, sail into danger. Then. Time to attack. Let's attack this blimp. A Robux blimp at that. It had little effect. Just kidding, we actually took him down to half. Time to finish him off. Doesn't know what hit him. Unless he sees me and starts shooting first. Come on, fighter, shoot! Okay, that didn't go like I wanted it to. 
enemies out of range of that. Okay, I guess our last four fighters are gonna go finish him. Or they could just finish these guys. What was that? Do you have rockets? I don't remember the planes having rockets. I guess blimps are all the rage nowadays. Or zeppelins, I guess. Oh wait, the zeppelin's attacking me! Kill it! Kill it now! Those are my last of those. Ooh, you know what? We can still hit him with uh, dive bombers. Let's see how he likes these. We just need to get past his uh, machine guns. Oh, no, he sees them. He definitely sees them. Okay, whatever. Someone please deal with that thing. Por favor, that would be much obliged if you did. Let's get some torpedoes out. Yeah, no, that's that. Okay. Everyone likes to be blimps, do they? Let's see, you know, the actual blimp killer. Actually, we could... I've got two blimp killers. I could use my, my rocket, my missile boat, or the phoenix. I'm gonna stick with the, the missile boat. Missile frigate. Cause this blimp has caused us enough pain. Zeppelin, I don't care. He's all the way up there? Is that the only one? Okay. Now this ship, actually, you know what? Well, that doesn't need the music. What's the, what's the button to show the controls? I don't know. This ship here is just stupidly annoying. Because I can just do this and destroy them. I have 41 missiles, I believe, which is more than enough to sink whatever they throw at me. And I would have sank that one if this minesweeper didn't steal my kill. Now the gun is useless, but you know it's whatever. It's not it's supposed to be good. See, this is where the damage comes from. Oh yeah, look at that. Light him up. And smoke screen away. Shield myself and my comrade. There's a friendly submarine. Too late submarine, this is my kill. You can't take him from me. Out of here. See, we just destroyed an entire... I think that was a heavy cruiser by ourselves as a frigate. That's how overpowered this guy is. And since the missiles can go like up, then you can use them to take out blimps too. The only thing about this guy is he doesn't have a lot of health. So he's really not so much a bullet sponge front line. Oh, thank goodness I got bounced out of the way. Thank you, Showa. Now time to take our revenge. It's also got plenty of range, so you can hit him from however far away you want. Well, you also gotta predict where they move. A bad thing is that if you let him out, or if you uh, fire your torpedoes, too close together, they will just intersect each other in the air and explode, which is what all the explosions of my boat you're seeing are. So, you know, let's try and space them out a bit more. Just so we don't get that cross contamination, or whatever you'd want to call it. Also, if you space them properly, you can actually just have a never ending stream of torpedoes. Like, if you just shoot them all at this rate here, you just keep pushing G and never stop because there's always one reloaded and ready to take its place on the field of battle. Planes? Get out of here, planes. This 
see if we can get some long range action. Oh, blimp! That's why I was this guy in the first place. Destroy the blimp. Okay, we're getting some damage. We need to lead our shots a bit more, though. Yeah, he definitely knows we're shooting at him. Yeah, no, this guy's not escaping. No escape for you. Did I get him? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Yeah. Oh, and just in time to take out this guy. Double kill. I love the Kevin McLeod. It means I don't have to add my own music. That man again! I hate that plane. Let's see which carrier he goes to so we can go follow him and just destroy it. Let's take out this guy first, though. You gotta aim slightly above where the ship appears to be. I don't know why. It's just the way they're built. Okay, can you not plane? Imagine paying Robux on this game. I couldn't. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, let's let's swap it up some. You know, we can take a patrol boat like this one, a hydrofoil. What could go wrong with the tiniest class of ship in the game? But also the speediest. 50 knots. Now, if we get caught in a broadside, we are so dead. But that won't happen. What weapons do I have? I think I just have these two turrets here. They fire fast. So hopefully they do a decent amount of damage. And I think they can shoot... Yeah, they can shoot way up in the air too, so they can also be used to take out blimps. Zeppelins. Who will be the first victim? We've got two minutes. Two minutes to cause terror and destruction. The submarine. I hate submarines. Okay, can I drop, uh, mines? No? Okay, whatever. We'll go deal with that submarine later. Right now we got a battleship to take care of. If I can actually hit him, that'd be nice. Alright, maybe we shouldn't be getting so close to it. Yeah, or else that could happen. Maybe we shouldn't have focused the battleship in the first place as a tiny little patrol boat. Well, we don't have much time to do much else. No, we're hopping right back in. We're gonna take care of someone. Don't care who, we've got a minute to get over there and do it. 60 seconds. Starting now. Ah, slow battleship. You'll never get over there in time. There, submarine. If anyone deserves to die, it's him. Alright, I landed a hit on him. Now, where is he at? Oh, he's over there. Okay, we really don't have any submarine killing tools. Not like this guy does. He's got depth charges and stuff. He's not even using them. Submarines are honestly the way to go. At least they used to be. I don't know if they're still as good as they were. Because they nerfed, like, the reload on the torpedoes. I will kill you. Or at least I'll prevent you from killing this guy. Surface, I dare ya. Come on up. No? That's what I thought. You coward. Battle's ended. That's the end of this video, too. The video's ended. I don't know why Phantom Force has quit on me, but whatever. You know, that's that. Skate Gaming signing out. Adios.